Every day there's a new story emerging off more announcements pertaining to strike safe. Um, you know, the thing is, mate, right, um, I'll try and break this down real quick, but see the people going on the strike, I, I, I fully support them. I know a lot of people are going to go, well, it's influence with the unions. All, all things aside, right, the government have a very simple thing that they could do. They could either, right, toe the line, cut the bullshit, and bring down prices. They can very easily do that. They're choosing not to. Yeah. So if they're not doing that, the logical thing to do is to put up people's wages. But if they're not going to do that with the cuts that, that I've said on stream before, going way back with Glasgow, that they've done right across the board in all the departments, Glasgow's not even run at a skeleton staff level, but they're the biggest city in the country with the biggest demands in the country, but they're paid the least on so many fronts within that council level. I don't blame the workers because, again, over the years when we've touched on things, all things education, influxes of schools with different pupils means that languages are going up, which means that barriers are getting tougher which means the demand on teachers then work in the classroom, demands on cleaners cleaning the schools, demand on catering staff, making sure that all the kids with various different diets and all that is all met, means that there's more demand and more pressure for very little pay. The environmental issues that we're seeing in Glasgow run about it, which is having a knock-on effect on the communities, which means that the schemes are overrun with fucking rats. Rats that are quite frankly, and I'm no bullshitting you, are probably some of them sit as the size of a Scottish fucking wildcat. I I'm, I'm bullshitting you. Some of the things that I've seen when I've been doing Clydeside is fucking, you're like, wow, that is straight out of fucking Predator. No joke. No joke, folks. It's, it's wild out here. It truly is. But the point being, all this is an, a link to each other, all connected, all very much deliberate to destabilise a whole nation, or should I say nations, in order to bring a people a group of people, us as British, European people, to our knees in order to play a part in their fucking great reset. Because when the workers only getting paid, when the streets are fucking littered and overflowing, when people are only getting fed, when people can't heat their homes, when people can't get to see a fucking doctor, and when people don't have a fucking hope in hell for a normal life, they're going to submit under the boot to their fucking crush. And our government or just sitting back and allowing the crimes on other people whilst everything goes fucking Pete Tom. So I see if people are only going to play a, 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 their game within that system, get it right fucking up them, because see, as far as I'm concerned, there's not enough fucking gulags for the traitors right across Western society. <laughs> hey, man, man. Yeah, here, here. <laughs> I don't even know what I can add to that. I don't <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. Yes. <laughs> Things are a bit shit right now for <clears throat> a lot of people, and there's no denying it. It's not going to get worse. Of course, it's going to get worse because it's all part of acceleration. But I don't necessarily think that. Well, you know, like people, you know, it's like the sleeping giant in many respects because people, well, I believe anyway, will get to a point where they're like, "No, nah, like this is just no, you're not doing this anymore." And when that happens. Because the only thing that they've got to rely on is their reasoning for why it's happening. So they'll say, oh, it's, yeah, it's because of the war in Ukraine, that's why this is happening type of thing. But when people start to go, do you know what? I don't care what your reasoning is, what what excuse you provide, that's when they're in trouble. So that's why I think it's imperative that you continuously, irrespective of if it's just to your people that you work with, if it's to your family, to your friends, or if you make content, I hate that word, but it doesn't matter. Just keep chipping away at that narrative because once that crumbles, it's the same principle I apply with the SP. I don't, I'm not political. I don't give a shit about politics. You might not believe that. I don't care about politics. I'm not politically minded. Never done one of those political tests. I'm not left wing or right wing. I'm not political. But I continuously attack the SP because I want their narrative to die. Once the narrative dies, their support plunders. And I'm, <laughs> I know that's a, a monumental task, uh, admittedly. A lot harder than I thought it was going to be. But I'll continue to do that. But my point is that that's that's the best line of attack that we've got as a people is to just continuously chip away at the narrative. Here, here. <laughs>